Welcome to the PNX Metallography Virtual Lab. In this activity, we'll explore fundamental macroscopic techniques used in metallography, which involve examining large areas without significant magnification. Observing specimens with a naked eye, we'll delve into their macroscopic properties. Safety is paramount, especially as we'll be handling concentrated acids. To prevent any risk of skin or eye damage from acid exposure, ensure you're always equipped with gloves, glasses, and a lab coat. Now, please proceed to the locker on your right to gear up for today's hands-on session. Safety is paramount, so make sure to equip yourself with a lab coat, gloves, and protective glasses. It's essential to wear them consistently, especially while working with acids and other hazardous substances. Even a tiny droplet in your eyes could lead to irreversible blindness. Once you're fully geared up, you can then go ahead and choose the specimen for your experiment. Arrayed on the table are various materials for examining their metallographic structures. For those designated for flame and induction hardening, you can proceed directly to the polishing stage. However, for the remaining materials, a small section needs to be cut in the machine shop. Please select the specimen you intend to analyze, and if it requires cutting, head to the machine shop accordingly. Once prepared, use the polisher located at the room center to finish polishing your materials before etching. To prepare our specimen for etching, it's necessary to first smooth and refine its surface. This process involves grinding and polishing, which can be effectively carried out using a metallographic polishing device. Begin by placing the polishing wheels on the Nano 2000 polisher. Activate the wheels by pressing the start and stop controls on the apparatus. Proceed to gently buff the specimen surface using the course wheel. A correct technique will be indicated by a vibrating sensation in the controllers. Continue this for 10 seconds, at which point a signal will sound, indicating the end of the polishing phase. Next, switch to the fine polishing wheel. Polish the specimen surface for an additional 10 seconds. Once completed, turn off the polisher and proceed to the etching station located to your right.
To begin the etching process of the specimen, first apply the etching agent, a mixture of alcohol and nitric acid containing 5% concentrated acid into the glass plate. After this, immerse the polished side of the specimen into the acid solution for a duration of 10 seconds. Following this step, turn on the water valve to thoroughly rinse the specimen. Subsequently, use a wool cloth to gently wipe away the layer of gray particles that forms. The next step involves a final rinse of the specimen using alcohol. While holding the alcohol bottle, press and hold either button A or B to dispense it onto the specimen. To complete the process, dry the specimen using the hair dryer located on the adjacent bench. The final stage involves drying the specimen to enhance the visibility of the material's grain structure to the unaided eye. Activate a hair dryer and position the specimen beneath it for a brief duration. Following this step, the grain structure of the materials will become visible. For a more detailed examination, use the binocular microscope on the table at the end of the room. Congratulations, you have successfully prepared your metallographic specimen. While the grains on the polished and etched surface are discernible to the naked eye, they can be observed more distinctly with the aid of an appropriate microscope. Insert the specimen into the microscope. Refer to the small screen in front of you to assist in accurately positioning the specimen at the lens's center. Once in place, you have the ability to use the microscope to zoom in and out, as well as to expand or reduce the lens's field of view. Achieve these adjustments by twisting the knobs located on the top and both sides of the microscope.
Warning, secure the metal part with a clamp before starting the machine by grabbing the thread handle. 